Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my 18 week pregnancy update. Okay, this week I have to wear my glasses so I'm sorry about the glare. I try to set up the light in a way that it would be the least annoying as possible but it's gonna happen. Um, my eye just decided to like freak out about an hour ago so I had to take my contacts out let it rest it feels a lot better now but it's still pretty bloodshot I feel like I don't know if you can tell um, this week baby is the size of a bell pepper she is about five and a half inches long from the top of her head to the bottom of her rump <laughs> and she weighs about six and three quarter ounces roughly um, I have my anatomy scan on Friday, so I should get better estimates specific to this baby. And I also learned this week, because we went to the zoo on Friday, the National Zoo, and a baby panda was born that day, so that's exciting. And I learned that baby pandas, newborn pandas, are born at the weight of three to five ounces. Can, can you believe that? This baby in my belly right now is bigger than a newborn panda. Pandas are big animals. Like, it kind of blew my mind when I learned that. So in the baby's development this week, the big thing is that there is a substance called myelin, which helps the brain communicate to the nerves. That substance has started to coat the nerves this week. So that's the big thing in baby development. So moving on to me and my pregnancy this time around. Uh, baby purchases, I haven't really made any this week. I've been trying to be good and slow it down, but I have bought some things to reorganize my closet. Uh, when baby's born, we plan to have her in the room with us, whether, um, especially while I'm recovering, like have her right next to the bed. Um, but as she gets a little bit older, we want to keep her nearby. So we are going to probably put her in my husband's closet. We actually have two walk-ins. So I am trying to organize my stuff in my walk-in to make room for either her clothes and her stuff for now. And then as we get closer, move all of my husband's clothes into my closet, which is right there, I'm sitting next to it, um, and then move her stuff into that closet, so then that closet is like a nursery, because it's a pretty decent size walk-in. So if that counts as baby purchases, that's what I've been doing. Um, but other than that, I've been trying to be pretty good. And cravings this week, I haven't had anything crazy. There was one evening, I was scrolling Facebook, and there was a thing about pasta and like six different pictures of pasta and like what pasta would you pick? And I texted my husband saying like, oh my gosh, I want Olive Garden chicken alfredo so bad right now. Like that sounds so good. And I texted him because I was upstairs and he was downstairs and I was lazy. <laughs> but he texted me back and he's like, okay, I'm going to pick it up in about 20 minutes. I love him. <laughs> but that was it for cravings. Sleep this week has definitely improved from last week, but still pretty rough. I have starting to reach the point where I really can't sleep on my stomach anymore. It is not comfortable and I start to feel really sick um, when I do that, like nauseous. So that's out. And I'm also getting to the point where it's not really smart to sleep on your back which I'm not a back sleeper anyway, but for some reason when I'm pregnant, like that's what I want to do. But I've been finding myself waking up on my back. So I'm trying to use my pillow to make it to prop myself up, but it's still a little rough, but it's getting better. We are improving. Uh, and the usual symptoms are here. My congestion, my shortness of breath, my loss of memory. All that stuff is very apparent. Um, and then this week, as far as new symptoms go, uh, I did have a little bit of round ligament pain. 
again not nearly as much as that one week I just had like one day where it really bothered me but other than that it's been feeling good so that's great I have started some pretty bad back pain though my lower back and my tailbone has really started to hurt Monday was pretty unbearable like it hurt to bend at all like bend over at all I could not pick Lincoln up at all like there's it was just it was a rough day other days have gotten a little bit better but the lower back pain is definitely here swelling has begun my least favorite part of pregnancy I had to remove my wedding ring and engagement ring today um, because my fingers have been swelling so bad during the day so that was a bummer I did order some silicone rings um, just because I feel naked with nothing there so they came today but they're a little too big so I have to send in resend them in to get a new size whatever return them that's the word um, and my ankles have started swelling it was really really bad last night and pretty bad this afternoon um, two things that I want to mention to my OB the next time I go one is that I've been having pain in my c-section scar it was just the one day but like several times throughout the day I would have this really sharp like stabbing pain that was really short it only lasted for like a second or two but right along the line of my c-section scar um, so I don't really know what the deal is about that it's also been a little bit itchy like my scars started to get a little itchy which I think it's because you know skin and stuff is growing and stretching and stretching skin is itchy um, it's just like a coincidence that it's on my scar I think I don't know I'm gonna talk to my OB the other thing I want to talk to her about is my wrist I think what it is is pregnancy induced carpal tunnel I know it's pretty um, common in pregnancy like 40 to 60 percent of pregnancies have this especially um, later pregnancies like if you've already had a pregnancy and you're pregnant again like it's more common and this is my second pregnancy so maybe that's what it is um, but it's a lot of pain in my wrist specifically my left arm sometimes my right but rarely mostly this one a lot in my wrist and then up here like to my thumb joint down into my wrist and then it sometimes it radiates pain like halfway down my arm um I don't really know what the deal is I know with carpal tunnel a lot of time numbness is like numbness and tingling is a symptom of that and I haven't had a whole lot of that I have noticed that my hands and feet fall asleep a lot easier and faster than they have normally but it's not like a consistent every single day my hand is going numb but it is consistent that every single day I have pains there so I feel like that's what it is but I'm not sure I'm gonna to talk to my OB but that's kind of it as far as new pregnancy symptoms um, but the two little TMI things is that I've had a lot more discharge nor than normal it has definitely increased this week which I read on the apps is normal and expected so there's that um, the other thing is that my nipples have gotten really sensitive like they're okay when they're in a bra or in a shirt it's fine it doesn't bother me but when I don't have anything on like when I'm showering that's when they really bother me and are super sensitive if anything touches it it's like <gasps> like my towel when I dry off anything my arm bumps it as I'm cleaning it just really really hurts and it's super sensitive so I don't know what the deal is with that but that's pregnancy for you and that is week 18 so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you want to follow my journey along this pregnancy go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye